of this year, in 2020, is the evening of December 10th on Thursday until Friday, December 18th. It's a feast for eight days. Hanukkah means to renew. And it had to do historically with the renewing of the temple, which we'll talk about that in a moment. But we find in John, the one time that it mentions Hanukkah at all in the scripture, though it doesn't use that Hebrew term, but Jesus, as a Jewish person, celebrated Hanukkah. So it's called the Feast of the Dedication. John 10, 22 says, Then came the Feast of Dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews gathered around him, saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. And Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. So the temple had to be renewed because it had been desecrated. This took place, interestingly, on what we call December 25th in 167 BC. Antiochus Epiphanes, a leader in Syria, came down to Jerusalem and destroyed uh, the area and came into the very temple of God and on the altar placed a pig and sacrificed a pig on that altar. He did so knowing that the Jews did not care for pigs and that they saw them as unclean animals. And his intent was to desecrate the temple of God, to destroy ultimately their worship of him. This caused quite an uprising among the Jewish people. And for the next three years, they fought against him. And a family by the name of the Maccabees were some key people involved in this. And there's some dramatic stories of the faith of these people and the guerrilla warfare that the Maccabees used. But on December 25th, 164 BC, the temple was dedicated. It was renewed. It had Hanukkah. And from that point on, for many years, as long as the temple existed, in up to 70 AD, Hanukkah was celebrated to remember the renewal of the temple. Last week when we talked about when Jesus was born, and we mentioned that December 25th was because of taking over a pagan holiday and also because that's when the days get longer. Here's another reason that now Jesus is the true temple and that he is the true Hanukkah. He is the true feast of dedication.